All right, we're running it back again. I thought we were safe. I was incorrect. Your lesson is never try. I blame uh, I blame Cobalt for that one because he told us to go to the alt path. I am absolved of the responsibility. Check bestiary. That might be your first mom's heart death. This, they added a bestiary to this game? Since when? Next thing you're going to tell me they got some challenges in here. Bonk. <laughs> Uh, bonk, go to horny jail. Okay, I, I deserve that. That's full health. Okay, Peepo G. Yellow, yellow pill equals swallow, swallow, trinket. Yellow, yellow pill equals swallow, swallow, trinket. Thank you. I guess I don't need Peepo G now that I think about it. I believe the game stores that information for you in a string that it presents in the bottom right corner of the screen. Fair enough. Duly noted. You don't think it's... Gulp. Told you. You don't think it's weird that... Um... <laughs> he thought I was using the book. Not the book, but the net. The bag. Um, you don't think it's weird that you go into a barber shop and uh, you look... Like, be honest. What percentage of you in chat right now use the magazine method when you go into a barber shop? And yes, I know it's COVID, okay? I mean, like, in normal times. What percentage of you use the magazine slash catalog method? And what percentage of you bring in a photo of a K-pop star on your phone and say, give me this? And the Supercuts uh, hairstylist just goes, no problem. Neither? Could you... I've left space in the chat box for you to write in your, your rationale. I show them a photo of Ryan Gosling on my phone. You know what I think would be a cool bit if I were a barber that I would do? Whenever someone showed me a photo of a celebrity, I would say, who's that? Like your brother or something? <laughs> First off, they'd be like, you don't know who Chris Evans is? But then secondly, they'd be like, oh, you. <laughs> okay, let's just go normal side this time. I just go, can you make my hair shorter? Bust out the Floby, now we're talking. Bust out a photo of Ryan Reynolds. There's a lot of Ryans, like, ripping it up right now, man. Reynolds. Gosling. Um, yeah, I know myself, yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, there's gotta be more. Nolan Ryan, famous baseball pitcher. Ryan Stiles, previously one of the most famous Ryans out there. No question about that. Andrew Ryan, yeah, the villain from Bioshock, exactly. So many Ryans these Have you ever noticed the prevalence of Ryans these days? Ryan's Toy Review? You might think you're joking. That's not a joke, though, man. That's real life. This ain't SeaWorld. This is as real as it gets. I'm on a boat, mother fricker. Don't you ever forget. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ryan Reeves. We don't speak about Ryan Reeves. Although I will... Okay, so this is a different series uh, in the NHL playoffs. Apologies if you're a fan of the St. Louis Blues. There is no better feeling in the National Hockey League, including watching your own team win, than watching Jordan Biddington get blown out, dude. It's the greatest feeling in the NHL. I will go out of my way to watch that guy get ripped up by the Colorado Avalanche. It's so good. He gets so mad. It's, it's, it's so good. It makes me laugh every time. Oh, why though? I don't know. He's just kind of, he's got like a, he's got a bad attitude, right? And then he's not on my team. So it's very funny to watch him lose. 
And then he's got that great interview where he was like, do I look nervous that you can just throw in his face every time when he gets bodied? It's, it's great stuff. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. <laughs> Owned. Okay. We lived. What is he trying to unlock? Literally, like, anything uh, as Tainted Kane. 1% chance? Never tell me the odds. The only thing we've beaten as Tainted Kane is, uh, is Mom's Heart. So that's, this would be portable slot if we took it. Probably just chill out on that for a bit. Donkey, donkey, donk. The dude's a Stanley Cup champion. I didn't realize that uh, as soon as you've won a silver cup, you can no longer be uh, made fun of. Somebody better add that to the to the. Or is it is it like a military service thing? You can't make fun of that guy. He's won a cup. The sacrifices he's made for this country, and you dare insult him? Am I even gonna get anything now? Okay, so far so good. Careful, he has a cup. What is that? Oh, Soul of Bethany. You know, it's not bad. Pump the brakes. It's a national treasure. I am memeing, but it would be awesome to put troll bombs in the bag. It, what if they only paid out with items that trolled you, though? You gotta consider the, the other side. You gotta consider the flip side. What if it only paid out with bad items like uh, Proptosis? You wouldn't be laughing then. This is for consumables. Never mind, I don't know how to play the game. Uh, that's good. Dirty mind. Totally fine. Give me one of those for the future. Okay, we, we need heuristics. When we play as Tainted Cane, we need heuristics. One heuristic, if you see a 7 cent item, you buy it. No matter what. Unless you need the HP to live. But that's never happened, so I'm going to continue to say no matter what. Danny Kahneman words. I'm excited to announce we're going to have Daniel Kahneman on the show next week. He's going to... Uh, we're going to play uh, Super Mario Party together, and he's going to um, go through a well-reasoned debate about whether or not the hot dog is a sandwich. And then um, and then he's going to promote his new book, Noise, that, that comes out, uh, I think it actually comes out today. Everybody welcome Nobel Prize winner uh, Danny Kahneman into the show. Danny? Nobody picked up the mantle of this joke. That's fine. I was waiting for it. He's, he's just a little shy. I mean, he is 87 years old, so you know, it's not... It's not a surprise that he might be a little shy. No pressure. Hi, Danny. I hope you're doing okay. Well, that's nice. I'll pass that on to him. I'll send him a piece of correspondence in the mail. I did. I listened to a podcast with Daniel Kahneman, and uh, this is how it, it put into perspective for me how old 87 years is. Usually on this podcast, they clearly have guests on like Zoom uh, or, you know, uh, probably not Discord to be honest. But probably like literally just Zoom and Teams. Um, in this one though, he was clearly calling in from like a telephone landline. I was laughing. I was like, that's. That's, I mean, this man, like, at some point, you just got to acknowledge, we're all going to be there, by the way. You might think it's never going to happen to you. I think at some point, you just realize, like, you know, I think I'm just done with new technology, you know? I, I, I think it's time to just recognize I'm full. I learned the phone back in the day. I learned parts of the internet, and now I'm kind of like, I'm just on the phone now forever for the rest of my life. Okay, g give me one of these.
I don't think it's an incredible item, but it's something. Give me, give me this lucky penny. I like new tech and gadgets. Correction, you like new tech and gadgets right now. When you're 90, you might be like, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm full. You're gonna be asking like all the all the turbo zoomers to add you on Discord. They're gonna be like Discord, Grandpa. It's not 2035 anymore. I just like Discord. All my friends are there. I'm gonna let's give it a try. It has more to do with poverty than age? Possibly. Um, I'll ask Danny about that when he's on the show. I thought he was doing okay because he had the best-selling nonfiction book of 2011 and also won a Nobel Prize and had a 50-year career as a clinical psychiatrist, but... Sorry, psychologist! Psychologist! So maybe... Maybe... Maybe there's some merit there. Help, help, help. Okay, give me the nickel. Give me the dime that's top of the line. Please take the avionics off of my screen. I will not. The avionics are extremely important. This is like asking a pilot to fly without his instrumentation. I would never. Please. That's good. We, we need HP. We need HP. Dude, the poops are crushing it here. I'm very happy. Why are they called avionics? Uh, <laughs> this is a it's it's a danglish special. Um, I think it's because you know when you fly in like a flight simulator game, you got a lot of gauges and instruments and stuff like that um, that are that are on the screen that make flying easier. But to uh, a, a a novice pilot, like Sully Sullenberger, for example, um, may uh, cause confusion or, or distraction. Something along those lines. That's, that's my guess, at least. Okay, give me one of those. Hey, he's a hero. I got nothing against Sully Sullenberger. But... I do have to ask, like, if he was a better pilot, wouldn't he have just missed the geese? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm pretty impressed that he managed to ditch the plane in the Hudson, and then when they started running, the, the uh, National Transportation Safety Board started running simulations, they, like, 95% of the time couldn't ditch it in the Hudson because they weren't good enough. But, like, did they ever think about just, like, not hitting... I deserve that. I deserve that for that take. Did they ever think about just, like, not hitting the geese? Because I'd like to think that's what I would have done. I can't say with confidence that that's true, but it's what I'd like to think I would have done. Okay, put that bone heart in this. What the heck is that? Echo chamber. I can see the future. Chur, chur, chur. Let's go, Pog. Let's go. Pog. Pog. Win. Win. You've won the game. God tier item. The future, future. Okay, what does this mean? What, is, what does it do? <laughs> Any card wins you the game now. So not suck cards. What, Jesse, what are you talking about? It saves every consumable you use and duplicates that effect on every consumable afterwards. Yo, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, all right. I don't get it, I get it. I don't get it at all, I get it. So give me a, a sun card and then we win forever. But don't take any teleports. That's a good point. That's a good point. Don't take any teleports. Thank you for the breakfast. You know what? First? Okay, thank you for the breakfast. 
Time to bring out the whiteboard. Don't lie to me, Walt! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Bach, you here today? Just trying to see how you're reacting to the... The, the new angle. We're trying to do a, a, a memeless run. 24 hour memeless permanent. Yo, that tweet kind of popped off yesterday, huh? First off, this is this is valuable here. The tweet that was like, can you imagine being back in the day? <laughs> and then like your friend is like, yo, bro, you got to listen to this. And then he gives you like a 52 minute Schubert piece. I believe my response to that was no thank you. I didn't expect it to pop off, but it popped off. Portable slot? Portable slot is a no thank you. I don't respect it. Couple of people were, were a little upset that I said, imagine living in the 1700s and somebody makes you listen to Schubert. Because apparently Schubert was born in 1797, which I, uh, I apologize for that. I, I didn't realize. It's my mistake. Well, well, well. <laughs> what have we here? A victory, perhaps? The the part where I said links you, that was intentional. That that was to add one extra layer to the, the comic onion. It's called engagement farming. <laughs> okay, Joe. Johann Sebastian Bach, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. I appreciate it. Um, all right, we're well, we're more than even. Thank you, thank you. You didn't have to do that. You better be when you're giving out gifted subscriptions to that magnitude. You better be the real Johann Sebastian Bach. Otherwise, that might be like economically ill-advised. Johan Johan can afford it. There's no question about that. I mean, he wrote a lot of a lot of songs. I won't belabor the point by telling you the names of them. We all know them. Dodged, dodged. <laughs> Thank you though. Thank you. You know what? We're going to get a lot of consumables. Hook me up here. Hook me up here. Thank you again. I don't know what this. I feel owned, e economically supported, but then also owned. Two of clubs and also a lovers card. <laughs> Turns out Bach is not sussy. Correct, not not sussy Baka. I was so excited we got this item until I realized we didn't get this item. That's okay though. Still getting a lot of good stuff out of this. <laughs> you will be ashamed of your words and your deeds. It's all coming together. Because of two of clubs, I will pick this up. Thank you. Why are you playing this guy? We don't need the damage just yet. This is called an investment. We're raising our burn rate for the future. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Okay, suck those up. Now this guy, on the other hand, just gets exploded. We don't take pills. Pills, pills are spicy right now. Because they could be bad and then get duplicated forever. That's insanely good. Thank you. Yeah, if we got it tears down, we basically we turn this loss into or this win into a loss. I don't know why I always look at the room like it's gonna make a difference. <laughs> I always look at the item like this. Should I take it? Oh yeah, dude. Imagine if you got PhD. Oh man, Ben. So I know I was gonna say how are you gonna let Jake Paul do you like that. And then I said, no memes. No memes. 
We're running a memeless run today. We may do some uh we may do some tainted loss later today for people asking. I honestly like I, I talked about it a little at the start of the stream. But I investigated like what to play on on stream today for quite some time while I was eating lunch with the roasted baby carrots. And I just like I, I put in an honest effort to like look for some stuff that I thought would fit. I ended up finding um, almost nothing. All the stuff on my wish list that's that's coming out is coming out like in the next 30 days instead of you know like today but it will it will happen we'll, we've had some variety don't get me wrong but we, we could always get some more that's not bad but it could be better clip farming that's not bad but it could be better <laughs> oh <laughs> <clears throat> play cr classic the burning crusade pre-patch release maybe i'll play classic warcraft uh the burning crusade pre-patch uh release that's that's something i hadn't considered but you know it's, it's certainly a possibility wait is that what apollo is playing someone said apollo lull that's come on that's not what he's planning on playing, right? His message? Oh, no. Okay, what was his message? Can somebody type it out, please? Can you type it out enough times that if it's an own, um, then it won't be funny anymore because it will have been repeated so much that I'll be able to go, ha-ha. Did you know you can break this character very easily by following this six-step setup? Sorry, I can't focus. I'll die. There's a video essay on it. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you though. Like it. Look, don't pa Apollo. We we feed off of each other's anti-chat energy. Don't get me started. I will say, like, there's. <laughs> look, I'm seven cent. You buy no matter what, unless you're gonna die. We're we're moving on. Okay, don't don't try to tempt me, Apollo. Don't lie to me, dog. You sussy. Give me. Thank you. I take and we move on. Like, I know how this is going to come across. So just like work with me a little bit here. But like the thing that annoys me as Tainted Kane is is not really so much like the trolling. The trolling's whatever, you know, like welcome to another day on the Internet. It's when people like they think that they're being kind of sly. But they're actually, like, they, they want to spoil, but, like, without actually spoiling. So they'll be like, hey, you should consider adding an eternal heart into your existing recipe in, re in place of the bomb. I wonder what it makes. And then they just, like, sit back, like, could be anything. And I'm like, I, I, you think you're slick. Hey, NL, what would happen if you put four Eternal Hearts and four Spirit Hearts into the bag together? Wouldn't that be weird? You want to just, like, give it a try real quick? And I'm like, how about you give this a try? That's, I'm taking your keyboard and I'm smashing it. You can't talk anymore for 72 hours. How about you give this a try? That's me. I catch your blow. You tried to parry my blow with the blow of your own. And I said, no! And I caught your hand. And then I twisted it behind your back. And said, say uncle. I said, tap out. Tap out. And they said, no, no. And I said, tap. I got you. I'm on a pressure point. I've got you. And they said, I tap. And then I said, you feel better now? You sussy. <laughs> okay, worst worst enemies in the game here. Just just chill. These are the worst enemies in the game. Did you see the dodges of the century? That that room could have easily killed us. 
Why not? Why not? Add it. Add it. Was that the famous Caesar no? Yes, it was. One of, one of the all-time movie moments. Apollo, have you ever seen Rise of the Pla uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? If you haven't, I would recommend it. Personally, I thought when they remade Planet of the Apes in 2001, despite Tim Burton having a history and a clear reverence for the B era of movie cinema, as made clear by his loving portrayal of Ed Wood, in 1993, starring Johnny Depp, another classic movie. I thought that Mark Wahlberg and Estella Warren didn't do a particularly good job in that film, unfortunately. I was very excited to see it. Not, uh, Tim, Tim Roth, uh, as the evil villain notwithstanding, I thought they did a much better job in the, uh, 2011 Planet of the Apes remaster instead, starring James Franco, John Lithgow, and Andy Serkis. If you need a guy who can be a guy weird in your movie, gotta get circus. I was trying to be Patrick Bateman and then Britney Spears, but I'm not sure if it worked. Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? Bro, we, it was, as long as we're talking about things that are not okay, it's not okay that I was 10 when American Psycho came out. And Jared Leto in American Psycho looked like he looks. I don't know what you are, but I'll take you. Cracked orb. Um, and then we're in 2021. I've aged like a bag of gasoline. Jared Leto, he's, st he's still out here looking, uh, looking fresh. Looking weird, but in a cool way, you know? Okay, he, he do be a little damaged. I think, am I, am I correct in assuming he's also being uh, implicated in some kind of, like, cult thing? Yeah, he's like, he runs some kind of, like, erotic cult. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, well. I was going to say more power to him. That's not what I mean, though. It is not... Under no circumstances do you have to hand it to them. Okay, we, we need some stats, man. Like, this run has what it needs, but it also... Um, um, no, I won't. I won't. No. Don't. That's the same item. I'm dumb? That's much worse. <laughs> Okay, no, 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 keep it going. We got money equals power, man. We got money equals power. Just pick up some money. It's about the money! When Canadian Tire gets wind of this, they're gonna freaking get you like a laser beam. I know what I'm I know what I'm doing on this room. Owned! I'm not owned. Use it. Quinn, use it. Give me a key? Suck it up. Suck it up. Got it. Okay, okay. We take ourselves to the shop. Let the record show. Our client was not owned. I'm not owned. Confirmed. Legally binding. Owned is not a legal term. You're an enemy, huh? You're real? Blood of the Martyr. We don't even get to pick it up. I forgot about that part. Um, give me the money. It's about the money. Mr. Wonderful. It's about the money. Suck that up. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm not owned because we're going to buy Dreamcatcher, which isn't going to do anything, but that's okay because we're going to suck it up. We get the money. We get... You, you got to buy the card, man. You got to buy the card because the card's going to give you... It's going to give you the two of clubs and it's also going to give you... Um, the devil, and it's also going to give you the red hearts from the lover. Which means we can go to the curse room. Now we can go to the curse room without having a risk of death. <laughs> oh, 
your little spewer. Little spewer pays out with pills, right? So that we can just suck them up in our in our little machine here. What happened to memeless runs? I don't I don't have much in the toolbox right now, you know. My first vax dose is this weekend. I already know, like I'm gonna get. Um, I'm gonna. The the way that I'll know that nature is healing is I know the first five minutes that I'm in line for the vax, I'm gonna be like inspired. This probably doesn't work with it. Totally works. Um, I'm genuinely gonna be inspired by like humanity because it is kind of an amazing thing that we didn't even know that these like mRNA vaccines were even possible to make. And then they made them and you know the distribution is is getting going, you know, it's getting there. 5 minutes after that, it's going to wear off. And I'm going to get annoyed by something that somebody in line does that isn't even really that bad in the whole scheme of things. I'm going to lose my mind though and it's going to be great cuz I'm going to be like that's how you know that we're getting back to normal life. Now that I'm getting annoyed by minor stuff again, nature is healing. Okay, too spooky. Los is spookies, thank you. Thank you for the damage as well. Do not adjust your television set. You're stepping into a world of spooky. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, we could get a deal! Don't screw me on this one, dude. I haven't gotten a deal in 90 minutes of Tainted Kane gameplay. Imagine. Oh, I'm gonna become the Joker. I'm gonna become the Joker. Do you have a favorite Twilight Zone episode? Um, I like the one where Mr. Burns gets all the uh, real baseball players to... Whoops. <laughs> He gets all the real baseball players to form a nuclear power plant team. Talking Homer. Ozzy and the straw. Great episode. All-time classic episode. What? What the heck even happened? A D20, I'll admit, is in kind of a weird spot. Like, this is a decent room for it. But apart from that, it's in kind of a weird spot. Because I don't really want to use it on coins, because coins are damage. So what do you use it on? I guess red hearts, but... Sometimes I need those, because I've been taking an awful lot of damage. <laughs> I guess, you know, that's a good point. I guess maybe we just want to try to... Take as many... Make as many cards as possible. That's, that's a very astute observation. It's a good way to think about things. You should listen to your friend Billy Zane. He's a cool guy. He just wants what's best for you. You think? Why the fly? Because, dude, because we're ballin'. Look at this. Ballin'. The more the merrier. Okay, just freaking suck that up. Thank you. You're Balden from The Hobbit? I'm gonna be honest with you, if, if, we, if we're naming characters from The Hobbit, I bet I can't name more than six. Bilbo, Smeagol, Smog, Gandalf, Thorin Oakshield. Can it does sting count? Does his sword sting count? Does not count. Okay, confirmed does not count. Elrond's? No, I th you're thinking of Lord of the Rings. Two different universes. Why not? Look at that, why not? Frodo? Frodo wasn't born when The Hobbit takes place. He was but a wrinkle in Bilbo's you-know-what. All-time all time best Bilbo line? You gotta play it, man. <laughs> you gotta play it, dude. 
I like half as many of you twice as much as you should get. You know what I'm talking about? I, I know half as many of you twice as well as you deserve. And I know half as many of you two times as well as I wish that I did. Why is he Australian? Oh, sorry. He's, I forgot he's supposed to be from New Zealand in the movie. I know twice as many of you half as many toms as you deserve. Now it's time to, to make my retirement secret and safe. Jermaine. Oh, now we're talking. Rude. Coupon? No. We say no. After all, why should I have it? Okay. Super bandage. I say yes. Lord, help, show me how to say yes to this. D20? Bro, I don't want to reroll. I don't want to reroll the freaking coins because the coins are damage upgrades. But I guess we want to create as many cards as possible. Okay, okay, good point. But I'm lost in the sauce, man. No, we can't take it. This one's got to get dumped. Because otherwise we'll teleport every time we use a card. Which might not necessarily be that bad, but it's not that good either. It's not good enough. Scoop it into the bag. You princes of Maine. You kings of New England. Look at that, another super bandage. Throw that in the frickin' pocket. This is not your traditional D20 run, man. This is your... You gotta be smart with the D20. Because the D20... We don't want to reroll things that could be damaged into things that can't be damaged. You gotta be smart about it. Like, look at that. Like, that's plus 0.1 damage. That's a lot, man. You get that, a couple of, couple of vegetables, a pot. But you got a stew going. Thank you for the secret room. Always appreciated. Oh, baby. Do you think that eight pills makes PhD? Don't answer that. You don't get to answer that if you know the answer. We only allow guesses in this in this time slot. Yes or no. That's what I like to hear. Almost got me. You got me. Okay, we take the negative. Might as well. We say, mm, we say yes to this. And you're gonna be like, why would you do that? Prepare to be ashamed of your words and your deeds. This red heart must be replaced with a spirit heart, at which point it becomes pay to play. One of the strongest items in the game. We take the bomb out of here, we replace it with a nickel. Voila, we have just created placenta for 1 HP. Strictly better than 1 HP, by the way. Literally strictly better. Did he just... <laughs> Listen, okay, you sassy baka. You don't even know how this game works, okay? There's no yelling in this game. There's no lying or misrepresenting things. And it's a little bit more complicated than what you're used to. Oh, where do I put the red wire? Oh, it goes on to the red wire. Oh, I just clicked one. What do I click next? Uh, let me give you a little hint. <laughs> Two? <laughs> Around here, we're playing core games for core gamers. It's a little tougher, okay? One v one me shadow fiend mid. Honestly, you wouldn't be able to handle it after I got sixty two CS in ten minutes. You would. Be, oh, my computer broke. Oh, my my roommate pulled the router cord out of my modem. You don't even know, man. 
you don't even know. <laughs> oh. 62 CS would be a mortal rank. I know. I, that's why I stopped playing Dota, is I got so freaking good at it that, like, wasn't even fun anymore to just win all the time. Also, why I stopped playing uh, CSGO, because, like, I hit Global Elite, and I was like, oh, I'm so excited to see what comes after Global Elite. And then, like, it didn't, there was nothing after that. It was just like, you've completed a great game, congratulations. And I was like, okay. But this, Isaac, though, confounds me. One of the, one of the hardest games ever made. I just hit Global Elite and I played against NL many times so I can vouch. It's, uh, for a dollar, say you played against me in Counter-Strike. Chiching. <laughs> Apollo, by the way, like, I don't meet you in the middle on this too often, but I do have to tell you, you are actually right today and today alone. There's nothing to play, man. Like, it's just, there's just nothing to play. In like a couple of days, there might be, but like right now, there is like, there's nothing. Unless you want to, you know, go play uh, Mass Effect Remastered. <laughs> Last time I played that game, I had so much fun, I fell off my dinosaur. Can I tell you something sincerely? I actually signed up uh, for a Pogo.com account. Thinking that earlier today, I was like, maybe I will um, play Scrabble online. The only way you can play Scrabble online, I guess, is on Pogo.com. Um, so I, I went to it and was like, dude, this could be fun, right? And then uh, I started to play a game and it hit me with a bunch of ads. And it was like, if you want to remove the ads, please pay us $7. And I just alt f for it. I said, absolutely not. Un under no circumstances. Will I pay you $7 <laughs> to get rid of the ads just to play Scrabble? I would never. No, it didn't. It, look, I don't have ad block. Duh. But it... Um, it did, hypothetically, like, I heard from people that had that thing where, like, if you have ad block on and you try to go to it, it's like, please turn off your ad blocker to access this content. And I was like, luckily, that doesn't apply to me. Oh, man. Ryan, I have the Canucks logo ranked 29th, and I'm sorry I can't move it up. Jay. I mean, okay, so there's 31 teams in the NHL. That puts the Canucks third last. I honestly, like, I wish I could be mad, but it's like I was saying in your... Oh, you count the Kraken? Okay, so we're like fourth last. I wish I could be mad, but honestly, like, I really don't think the Canucks logo is particularly good. Uh, it... Hold on, this is, this is an important moment. I've, I've never really, like vibed with the logo that much i i wish i could i could say that i did you know i got positive feelings from the brand as a result of you know cheering for them but apart from that i don't think the logo is is particularly strong so i i consider you absolved right now i consider you absolved um i'm trying to think of what would be under it's got carolina hurricanes default logo just like the circle has got to be down there I have to imagine. I was talking about it uh, with my chat. I was like, the default Carolina Hurricanes logo is really bad. The alt stuff, I think you said the exact same thing on your stream. The alt stuff is pretty good. You're right, I should not have consumed the soul of Jacob and Esau. That's a good point. Yeah, come on. Someone in chat said Minnesota Wild worst logo. We talked about this. 
I also used to think that the Minnesota Wild logo was not that good. And then Jay told me it, there's a bear hidden in the logo. And that's when I went Pog. It's a great logo. I, I confirm it as having great logo status. I'm trying to think of what else. I, I'm giving up damage, by the way. Because I this can give me a card. And a card is worth a lot. I'm trying to think of what else would be on the on the low end, though. I don't find the, the Predators logo that inspiring. Panthers? You're crazy, man. Panthers logo is sick. At least the, the 90s Panthers logo. The, the like Florida hockey club one, I'm not such a huge fan of. but Okay, you know what? You, you had your chance. You blew it. Out of sight, out of mind. Thanks for nothing. I'm thinking. Okay. We take. We play, we take. We play, we take. We play to win the game. Herb Brooks. You know what? You're gonna give me a card. Of course I'm gonna take it. Oh, <laughs> it's really bad. On the other hand, no, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. I can't. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. On the other hand, on the other hand, <laughs> on the other hand, could I not? Could I be any more interested? Why am I playing the Blood Bank, man? Instead of playing the Demon Judgment. Like, what's wrong with me? He do be thinking about it. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? I'm not scared, because here's what I'm going to do. Don't kill him! He's a good boy. Okay, so it is going to affect us on every subsequent card play, but I'm not that concerned about that as of right now. This this is a little risky, though. I'm not sure if you've noticed that. This is a touch risky. Please pay out. I got to try. <laughs> He's actually an idiot. He's a fool. He's a genius. He's everything. I'm not trying to be wacky, okay? I'm trying to win the game. Maybe you wouldn't understand it because you... Because you got to deal with this. And then why well, blocked your energy beam and deflected it. Thank you, Placenta. I'm a sinner. I'm a saint. I do not feel ashamed. You reflected it back at me? That's okay because... I have deflected it into outer space. It's safely been deflected into outer space. It kills a planet? Good. Honestly? Good. They shouldn't have been st orbiting there. Like, Apollo, what are you going to play? I, I can always tell when, like, it's it's a lull in the games industry. Because, like, I'm pretty sure if I went to your stream uh, charts page, like, 90% of your streaming in the past couple of days is, is just chatting. That's the barometer I use for where the industry is at. Worth? Show me worth in the dictionary. You can D20 the bombs next time? Nope. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. Okay, here we go. Whoop. The lull is so bad, he ended his stream. Really? I heard say he was playing some piano. I always like to tune into the piano streams. No, I had to talk to my realtor. Oh, well, well, well. Well, 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 well. By the way, I do need to say, people are like, please go to the second secret room. Um, 
or the super secret room. Can we, well, while I farm placenta charges here, can I get some uh, some step by step instructions as to how we would get to the ultimate uh, secret room here with the red question mark? Maybe if you place a bomb perfectly on the corner there, you could uh, you could oh, we got this perfectly fine ball you can bounce. So oh, got away from you there. Um, all right, we're heading down to the next floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Yum. You're gonna miss boss rush? I wouldn't say I've been missing it, Bob. <laughs> Name that movie. This this is a freebie though. You don't get any money for that one. It is office space. You have you have received brownie points. Congratulations. And now I just started watching the Red Green Show on YouTube. Um, funny show. Funny show. Watched it a lot growing up as a kid. What's funny, I think, is that, like, Steve is a total nerd in the show. Nowadays, he'd be a freaking hunk, man. He's a bit of a dork, but, like... He's got that cool, like, key tar that also controls the cameras and the editing and stuff like that. Like, honestly, he'd probably be one of the largest streamers on Twitch. If he were a real human being that existed. Can I tell you something? I don't fear the Reaper. I'm gonna take this pill. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine, man. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty much everywhere is gonna be good. So now we have protection. Why not? From ourselves. From the tower. Huge play. Huge play. One of the biggest plays. Get owns. One of these days we're gonna fly too close to the sun. That day is not today. Okay. Is this supposed to diarrhea? Who cares? Who cares? I'm immune. I'm immune. You can't hurt me. <laughs> I've got to live forever. Oh, baby. <laughs> and it made another one, dude. I'm never gonna die. Oh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff, man. And there's another one! We'll take that into the next room. This one's almost yeeted already. Oh, man. So easy. Who was it? Oh, frick. I used it accidentally. That's fine. We got another one. Who is it that said this game was hard? Oh, I used it. I used it again. Who is it that said this game's hard, by the way? Because um, it's not. It's like the easiest game ever made. Um, yeah, I'm hard. I, mean, I can see how like somebody would consider that worthwhile. That's a nice little tears upgrade. No doubt about that. You said it was harder than CSGO. Who's... Like, you're talking about Derek, you? Because it wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be caught dead saying that stuff. CSGO, one of the hardest games ever made. It took me almost 10 years to hit Global Elite 1 rank worldwide. How long is this run? Honest answer, too long. I'm not comfortable with, with a 51 minute long run, but... More like CS go outside. More like CS go to the polls. Yeah, we're going to check out some Switch cars later. I've been interested in giving it a shot. Um, and today, it, it, it had a good opportunity to fit into the docket. As there is limited other 
options. It's got positive reviews on Steam. Good friend of mine, Daniel Giesling, gave it a, a thumbs up as well. What about 100 Days? I mean, I'm just saying, if you watched me play 100 Days, I'm not sure you would hit it with the Sag. I think you would hit it with, like, the... It had its chance. There was a lot of... Dude, like, I'm just being straight up with you. It's so much easier on the internet to just say you like everything. You never, ever catch flack. Like, in the olden days, people used to, like, call you a shill or whatever. But now, like, you if you ever dare to criticize a game, like, people will, like, get down Mr. President for the game, right? They're like, well, it's just because you didn't eat enough for lunch, so your blood sugar's low and you're grumpy. That's the reason you don't like Alt F4 or whatever. Um, 100 Days is one of the only times in my entire life I think I've, I've ever posted a video on YouTube and literally... 100% of the comments were in agreement that was like, this game seems pretty neat, but like, why is the dialogue so, like, you got me, you got me, so tiresome, like, it's so, uh, it just was, it was just too much, man, my coin, please, thank you, justice, that's really good, man, that's money, dude, Justin? You can't hurt me? Looks like wax lips are immune to your charms. I didn't mean to open that. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Why do you call it an oven when you oven the hot food out? Okay, okay, so we're gonna do this again. Why do you call it an oven when you oven the hot... Why do you call... Sorry, I gotta go to the bathroom a little bit, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep it going here. Why why do you call it an oven when you of the hot food in out? Why do you call it an oven when you of the hot food in out? I don't know. I don't I don't have an answer for that. Now that I think about it, I don't have an answer for that. Okay, so here's the deal, man. I think you take good stuff, like this, and this, and this. And then we take the key, because we're going to make golden chests out of some of these consumables here. We are going to open that. <laughs> oh, that's money, dude. Not, wait, we don't get to take any of these items anyway. So, ah, money equals power, dude, it's so good. Just kidding, we already have it. Okay, then we reroll everything else. Except, first, we turn this into something awesome. Turn it into something. Turn into something beautiful. You know, you for you, I'd bleed myself dry. For you, I'd bleed myself dry. If you get hit on this room, the Mega Satan door will open because you have the cracked orb. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I gotta go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna just go to the bathroom because we need to, like, we need to do this room and then do the boss and then do Mega Satan. So I'll be back in like a minute. <laughs> See you in a second.
All right, I'm back. Mostly, I apologize to YouTube. But here's one for you on the house. Oh, hi, hi, hibiscus. Mmm. Sorry, I muted myself. Even though it's only uh, juice here, still pretty good. All right, all right, all right. Of the hot food in out, right? Book, Book of Shadows. Um. All right, then keep your secrets. I think we need to have some some goals, okay? Goal number one is ninety nine cents. You gotta love it. It's so easy to accomplish. Um, goal number two is take damage so that you open the door. <laughs> the money equals power won't give us uh, money equals power. Be because when we get it, it'll turn into something else. You, you snag this card. And then, here's what we're going to do, okay? Okay. Wow, this, this is mighty nice. We're going to pop this, <laughs> which creates four extra items for us. Um, hello. Hello, sir. Um, thanks to our, our sucked up Justice card, also known as Justin card. Um, we're going to go kill the lamb. That's pretty good, man. Um, because killing... The lamb is going to then allow us to kill Mega Satan. And we're finally going to do it. We're finally going to win a run. We should, however, try to maybe turn you into something. You know what? Thanks for breakfast. <laughs> oh, you're not ready for that one. Your kids are going to hate it. I'm going to ruin my D20 opportunity. Don't kill me instantly. Don't, uh, my <laughs> what what happens when you use the what, what happens when you use Pandora's box on the on the lamb floor? You get nothing. You, you get the Bible. Run tomatoes, certified fresh. Literally nothing. Okay, beautiful. That's what I like to hear. Thank you for a fly. Thank you for Beelzebub. Another card, perchance, milady. Can't use it, but it's the thought that counts. Okay, there we go. There we go. You need an on you need it for an unlock? Really? Dude, that's you're absolutely right. That's huge intel. Thank you. Wonderful. How about that? It is from Afterbirth Plus, I think. <laughs> I didn't have Moving Box. I didn't have Lacro, whatever its, its name is. <clears throat> My mistake. Breakfast, huh? Why not? It'll be funny. Okay, let, let's get a little move on here. Half Zane, full Zane consequences. We probably did not ruin the run. My personal prediction, this run is not ruined. If anything, I think it just got better. I'm not even looking at the screen. That's one of the benefits of using uh, Tiny Planet. One of the most underrated things about it is that you no longer have to look at the screen because looking at the screen is something you do when you're trying to hit enemies. If you try to hit enemies, um, you're, you're at a major disadvantage because the only way to hit them is to miss them. You know what? You're absolutely right. We do have golden bombs. I would prefer not to get too close. 
I will take my key and I will leave. Okay, D start start taking it a little seriously, man. Start taking it a little seriously, because we, we don't want to have to run this one back. What the heck was in that hibiscus? Okay, an, an item that won't actually be an item, but it can be some HP. Okay, that's something. Thank you. Spoonbender. We do have placenta. We can just we can just hang, man. We can just hang. So getting hit on this room wouldn't be the worst thing. It would open the secret room for us, as mentioned. We really just need a card. So we could create via portable slot. We could In fact, I think we should because we have so much money on the ground and we're going to get so much more. Who's your favorite mass-produced chocolatier? Interesting question. Um, I, I wish I had a good answer for you, but but I really don't. Um, I don't have much of a, a sweet tooth. I could talk your ear off about potato and corn-based uh, chips. I'm not much of a, a chocolate guy, though. This is interesting. Let me think about this for a moment. You, I would like to explode. You're explodable. Always appreciate that. You are explodable. Then, you are going to give me a card. A card, please. A pill? Hold on. I'm not scared. Check this out. <laughs> Ye of little faith. This one goes out to all the gamers. Who, they, they were so confident. Their messages were all written like this. Can you imagine being so silly that you maybe had a winning run and then maybe screwed it up so much that you might lose? Well, let me show you that you, your confidence was ill-founded. What you should be saying is, have you ever had a dream that you wanted it to dream you so badly you could dream anything? Magic fingers is kind of interesting, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> yeah, my shot height feels weird. Something's, something's not right there. Thank you for the tears upgrade. Take me back into the secret room. A pillar of card, please. the heck was that? Oh, pretty fly, I guess. You think that's air you're breathing? <laughs> you think that's water you're drinking? I didn't know you could spam it that fast. That's that's good intel. Thank you. Just a just a card. Or a pill. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Question marks? You think that's P you're peeing? Don't spin. This is not, we don't spin in this household, okay? Even the game doesn't know what's going on. Dude, the only person that knows what's going on is chat right now. I look forward to seeing the video essays on this run. Maybe I can watch them on uh, Apollo's stream. Okay. Now, it's very simple. We need a card. Or a pill. But then we need this pill to become more pills when we use it on Mega Satan. Delightful. I am in the wrong direction here. You know what? <laughs> Pretty fly! Chocolate milk? 
Dude, this round's got everything. Like, it's, it's a little silly how much this run's got. Why, why don't you go ahead and... I, I, I can't even suck things up because of my shot height. You know what? Sure. Little Loki. Maybe, maybe you could conjoin. I don't know. I don't make the rules here. Give me that for damage, please. Give me this for opening things. I, I am not comfortable with this level of power. It's too much omnipotence. Oh, you know what? We weren't holding the trinket the whole time. <laughs> I needed that. I was wondering why, like, it never worked for me. Breakfast, one of the best items in the game. Please take. We told you? No, that was one guy. Second finger, thank you. We, we almost got the whole hand. PhD, which gives us a pill. I don't want to be in this room. Whatever, just you. Wow, no! What happened? I had a, a teleport got introduced to the equation somehow. PhD screwed us, man. Oh, it turns question mark, question mark, question mark into into a teleport. Classic PhD turning a good item into a bad one. Just keep it going. Just, I know we got golden bombs. Just chill. I'm just chilling here. It's going to be a longer fight, like... Just to be straight up with you than it otherwise would have been, but that's okay. <clears throat> Very different energy over here. Like, a, a lot of people out there that shall remain nameless, they, they cling desperately to trying to make a run last as long as possible. Around here, I'm, I'm working around the clock trying to make sure that this run finishes in a timely fashion. I, uh, I, I desperately want this run to be over so I can return to some degree of normalcy where I have a confidence uh, in, in my own abilities and also in the model of reality that I've constructed cognitively in my head that allows me to have, you know, an anchor I can affix my run to and know where I've been, where I'm going, and how we're going to get from one point to the other. And this run, we're, we're flying by the seat of our pants. I don't know what's happening. I, please, I don't know why I'm even... Why am I mashing the space bar? I don't know, I don't know. I was hoping we'd get some spirit hearts or something. Next time, please just look at a crafting guide and end our suffering. Oh, don't worry, there there won't be a next time um, for Tainted Cain. I'm just going to give my, my save file to... Uh, an Isaac streamer and have them do it for me. And then we will... Uh, one day I'll just log in and the, the whole post-it note is going to be full. And then people will be like, Whoa, when would you do that? And I'll be like, Oh, you weren't here? I was yesterday. And then if they're like, I was here yesterday, we'll be like, I meant yesterday last week. No, I mean, on, I'll play them on YouTube, maybe. I think playing them on YouTube is going to be worse. Like, anytime you got, like, a character that's kind of, like, backseat central. At least on Twitch, people give, like, live feedback. On YouTube, people, like, uh... If, if you don't take the feedback that's literally not possible to take because of, uh... Like... Not having invented time travel. <laughs> then people get, uh... They get a little upset. I'm just happy this one's gonna be over soon. I'm never gonna forgive Edmund for adding this character into the game. 
I hear you, Biz Snap. If I invented time travel, dude, but that's the thing people think I would use it to um, make my content better, I wouldn't. I would just be like, hey, hey, me in 2010, some of you guys are cool, start a Minecraft Let's Play. Oh, man, that would be the... Oh, I'm, I'm living in that fantasy world right now. Dunk, dunky, dunk. Dunky, dunk. Dunky, dunk. I always forget that Sips was in the Yogg's cast. Or is in the Yogg's cast. Like, I was looking up this game. It's not Landlord Super, but it was like a, a, a party game. And I was like, oh, I wonder if, like, Mouth and Sips would want to play this, like, on a Monday sometime. And then I saw that it was published by, um... Yogg's cast, and I was like, I don't know if Sips can even play it, like if there's like special FTC guidelines that he has to adhere to or something like that in order to play this game. I don't know. Every once I, I, I forget, and then I get reminded by stuff like that, and I'm like, all right, he's in the Yogg's cast. He's a big deal. Plus he runs his own hospital, and I hear Keanu Reeves works there. So, like, I don't even know, man. I don't even... I can't stand up to those kind of standards. Okay. We've done it. Yeah, you know what? I'm not a, I'm not a coward. Why don't you go ahead and take me to Delirium? I'm ready. <clears throat> when your face is as long as Livery Street... Come and grab a pint of Landlord Super. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, what should I be doing? I don't know. Now that our, um, our card slash pill strategy is screwed up, things are a little, little sussy. But we can, we can figure it out. Something that would be very nice is, uh, like a reroll engine. Or not a reroll engine, sorry, like a, a, a an HP engine. I don't know how we're gonna get that, but we'll we'll think about it. Just just run it through the old thinking machine. No thank you. You're probably not the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a boss. Poop on Deborah's desk. <laughs> oh, makes me laugh every time. Thinking about Seth Rogen pooping on... Wait, no, that's not Seth Rogen. Thinking about um, Andy Samberg pooping on Deborah's desk. Never gets old, man. Never... Range plus luck. Hmm. Hmm. We take? I'm not upset. That's... It's not that bad. Like a boss, but it's Ray Romano. Oh! We need mouth, though. Poop on Deborah's desk. Dude, it is pretty sick that Andy Samberg and Joanna Newsom are married. I bet they have all sorts of cool conversations. Folk pop GF and famous comedian actor BF podcaster. Uh, bomb bag? No, thank you. Sussy. I'm really, like, people are like, are you doing a Dan style run? I'm really, it's not my attempt, no disrespect. But really, I'm just trying to, I'm actually trying to win the run as fast as possible. It just has to be slow. Because that's the way, you know, taint, Tainted Cane, unless you're just looking up the recipes or you know them. I think most of the time you're going to find yourself with a bit of a slower run. But this is like a little, this is, uh, you know, egregious. <laughs> BFF it was super helpful. No question on that one. Dude, you're gonna laugh? I think I have to wait for Placenta to give me full HP <laughs> before I feel comfortable going into this room. Uh, it's a little scary, but... 
plus two hours. Just, just play a bullet chess tournament at the same time. Parasitoid was positive. Parasitoid was a good one. I, and BFF was a huge help. I mean, this is like... A, I'm, my confidence as a human being is being restored. Um, like, in, in Tainted Cane, specifically. Should have sucked that one up, but... I Like, because we're making it work on this run. It's actually working. It's a little long, but it's working. I mean, we're at an hour and 14 minutes. It's actually, the, the sad thing is that this is still shorter than some, like, non-meme runs I've done. Just due to having low damage. That could be Delirium, so let's just, let's just chill out. Got a nice amount of poop. And that could also be delirium. You know what? It can't be, right? You're not at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the end, the love you make is easy then. The the love is is equal to the love you make. John Lennon. Oven the hot food in out the Wait, and why do we park on a driveway and drive on a parkway, dude? You know what I mean? Okay. Please? I can't even aim this this son of a gun anymore. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think we need portable slot anymore. I think Unicorn Stump is a little bit more meat and potatoes. We have to take Nod Leaf. Nod, Nod Leaf means we win. We just have to dedicate some extra time to it. Oh, hello. Kate, if I had hair, this is a, this is a huge callback. If I had hair, what kind of hairstyle do you think would look best on me, knowing the size of my forehead? How much hair are we talking about? Let's say I had enough hair that no one would suggest that it was thinning. Like it was just a full head of hair. Full head of hair? Full head. And then, what hairstyle? Yeah, what would be the best hairstyle for my prodigious head shape? Bald. Okay, that's very nice, thank you. Yay. But if not bald, what would you say? It's tough, right? You don't see too many guys with a dome this big. But I, I like it when you're bald. Okay, fair enough. It's, I'm not going to put you on the spot then. <laughs> Just needed something to fill some time because we're going to be sitting here for a while. <laughs> I did thanks for the lunch. This is perfect timing. Yeah. Look at that. Isaac. I, saw, I saw pictures of you with hair. Yeah. But I like the mm. bald hairstyle the most. Well, I appreciate that. We've reached a point, like, I, I think I got really lucky with baldness. I have reached a point where people were like, it's weird to think of you with hair. But I didn't reach that point after 10 years. I actually reached that point after, like, 10 minutes. At first, like, people saw me and they're like, oh, you shaved your head. And then they're like, it looks good. And then, like, a week later, they're like, it's weird to think that you used to have hair. <laughs> it, there was almost no adjustment period whatsoever. Oh, you know what? I like you with the, with the, with the, with the hair. Ah, with the baby's hair. Yeah. I think, honestly, I mean, she... You might not want to hear this. I think she has my hair. Makes sense. Because I, I used to have that as a kid. I used to have that, like, wave. I think it's the mixed baby's hairstyle. Could be. For all I know, could be. Because I saw another baby, Asian mom, white dad, and had exactly the same hairstyle. Really? But then the dad was also bald. It's, it, it, we have a type apparently. <laughs> bald BF, not bald GF. I don't know what that means. Bald best friend, but... Boyfriend. Oh! Ah. You can, go ahead, you can take the UFO. No, it's such a cheap code for the baby, I think you should take it. You sure? Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you get the, I didn't finish that? That's from yesterday. I don't know, does, does Raz Cranberry LaCroix go bad? It, it starts bad, I'll make the joke for you. It starts bad. 
Thank you. She said you're welcome. <laughs> Let's get some moves going now and then. Would you do a rap battle against Anthony Fantano? He, he doesn't want the smoke. Um, but I would also say I don't want to do a rap battle, but what if I could just rap, um, you know, like one of the verses in Shoop by Salt and Pepper? I was a, I had a great musical journey yesterday. I was like, I want to listen to TLC, but I've heard Waterfalls too much. So let's listen to Shoop by TLC. And then I searched for it on YouTube Music, and it was like, that's not a thing. Shoop is by Salt and Pepper. So then, I listened to Shoop by Salt and Pepper, which I had never heard before. And I was like, this is awesome. And then the next song in YouTube's generated playlist was Creep by TLC. And I was like, this is the song I was looking for. It's not called Shoop, it's called Creep. But they're both good. Both of those songs are, are very good. I enjoyed both of them. Just give me the win. Like, I deserve it. <sighs> Please. This is never making it to YouTube. Why? Why wouldn't this make it to YouTube? This is the kind of run. This is this is liquid gold. They don't need to know that the actual content of the episode is bad. As soon as they see that it's like ninety minutes long, it's it's gonna get thirty five percent more attention than than the average Isaac episode. You you don't respect the runtime that serves as the foundation because you know what it is. It's like it's the same as when you look for a podcast. I I can put my shoes or myself in the shoes of the consumer. Um, when I see a podcast episode for my favorite podcast that's fifty five minutes long, I go, "Oh, screw you!" What you too busy this week to make a real episode? When I see one that's like eighty five minutes long, I'm like, "Yes!" Even if I don't know. Like, I, I sometimes I get halfway through the episode and I start to tune out. I don't even listen to what they're saying about, like, you know, modern portfolio theory or whatever. So when I see an episode that's long, I'm ten times more likely to click on it. I mean, if you get the choice, but the, the exception might be, like, if you got a... Uh, if there was, like, a nine-minute Isaac episode, I'd be like, I gotta see this. Otherwise, we're going, we're going high on that one, man. I can't believe it. We've actually done it. Oh, jeez Louise, okay. Thanks for watching. Apologies for the bathroom break 40 minutes ago. Um, slash marker tainted K. 